elecciones generales en España. Antes de... This matter that we're debating here is very easy to explain, but not from a democratic point of view. Mr. Puigdemont used to be uh, somebody who was fleeing from justice, and now Puigdemont is classified as uh, a refugee. You need some kind of explanation. The explanation is quite simple. A politician who's giving impunity to his uh, allies so they make him prime minister, and it's hard to, hard to understand that in Europe impunity can uh, be used in this way because if there's an amnesty that will delete uh, embezzlement at acts against the state and terrorism, Mrs. Garcia, read all of Article 2. And uh, an amnesty which will interfere with the investigation into Russian interference and an amnesty which will allow the Parliament and its committees to review judicial rulings, an amnesty which is not welcome but is uh, creating huge divisions in Spanish society. And please don't mention Portugal and Italy when it comes to justifying this amnesty. The crimes that this amnesty will uh, delete, will uh, pardon, are crimes that are, that are excluded from the amnesties in those two countries. If this goes ahead, this amnesty for embezzlers, terrorists, etc., then I think that the voice of Europe's institutions, when they will be defending uh, the rule of law, will be a much weaker one. Uh, colleagues, uh, now we have a cage the eye procedure. Uh, we have uh, uh, some eight speakers, so I will give the floor to everybody. So first will be Lydia Pereira. Floor is yours.